Dr. Wood, author of the book Miracles Minutes. And today's video is um, again about, I'm all about trying to bring people together, um, have more love in the world, have more uh, better health, physical health, have more, better mental health, and have better relational health. <clears throat> today's subject is on <clears throat> talking it out to work it out. So in all human relationships at some point in time, there's going to be a disagreement, there's going to be miscommunication, there's going to be misunderstanding, and the way, let's supposedly, I interpret something could be an error. <clears throat> I may have misunderstood what someone said, uh, I may take it personally, I may think they're trying to do something to harm me, or I was hurt in the matter. Now, <clears throat> here's the, the conundrum. <clears throat> if um, I personalize it and internalize it and do not get in conversation, have a conflict, confront the other party and say, you know, let me, let me, I'd like to uh, talk to you about some stuff and um, I'd like to kind of bring some things, you know, to light um, and talk about what has occurred and um, get this out in the open and let's talk it out to work it out and if we have to fight it out to get to the other side. Because the important thing is, <clears throat> it may start like this. <clears throat> you know, so-and-so, I, I love you and I care about you a lot and I love our relationship. And, and right now, I'm hurt. Um, something's kind of come in between us and, um, you know, something occurred and, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to talk to you about it because I do care about you and I care about our relationship. And, and right now, I don't think it's on good terms and I'd like to reconnect and get this going again. Um, is now a good time to talk about it. If not now, when? Um, there needs to be a when because I don't want to talk about it now. I don't want to talk about it later. I don't want to talk about it tomorrow. Well, that's avoiding the issue and avoiding this problem. And if this problem, if some person sits with the problem and it keeps going on, it starts to fester. <laughs> and that's not good. This thing's going to start to grow in someone's head. And it doesn't in my head, it does in your head, it does in your spouse's head, it does in your friend's head, it does your child's head. So, um, with that happening, if we don't say, you know, well, when is a good time? And, and I want an answer. Simple as that. Like, you're not going to put me off um, because it's a, it's, it's, if you care about me enough, if you care about us, then we need to talk about this. I don't want to see something come in between us. I think we need to talk this out and work it out. Uh, it may get hot, it may not. I'll do my best to control myself uh, in the matter, but let's let's talk it out. <clears throat> and then you talk it out and you bring up the points. You bring up um, everything and, um, <clears throat> and you, you dialogue and you stay with the problem until it's worked out and you fight it out and you get to the other side. You, you have to complete this process. If you don't complete the process, there's going to be residual lingering inside that will then take root and then take off again. And let's suppose you just try to avoid it. Okay, so you go on with life, but actually you don't avoid nothing. If you suppress human emotion, it will become expressed somehow, some way in the future at a very weird time. It'll just blow up and explode. And like the other party's like, what the hell just happened? So let me talk about this. <clears throat> of talking out to work it out. And the, and the end game is I'm committed to this so we have a deeper, more connected relationship and that we will learn how to work things out together so we have a relationship that will last. If you want a relationship that will last with me or even with others, let's, let's do this together. If not, <clears throat> I would say this. All, all your relationships at some point are going to be broken and you're going to have a life full of hurt and pain and suffering because everywhere you go, there's dead bodies. There's, there's broken relationships. Or you, everywhere you go, you have a lot of love. You cared enough. You had enough. You, want, you desire love enough in your life that you're willing to work out relationships. Now, some people are not workable. They just don't. They just don't have it in them. Um, they don't care. They're too hurt. And then you need to watch my video on agape love of how to deal with that. Um, you have to be a very, very strong person to love those people. Um, you have to have agape love, and there's no way of getting through it. If not, you're just going to get beat up in the battle. So this covers this video. 
I'm getting ready to shoot another one on uh, the kangaroo court or the hidden courtroom in people's minds. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.